So I gotta change out some of these latches because uh, we got some play in them and they're not holding. So all the pins and the bushings and stuff are kind of worn out. So I'm gonna swap out all the all the mechanical doodads that are on the inside. Um, this is a Highway XT3 body. There's a live body. So, these are issues. Is all these pins are all frozen and seized up in there and kind of worn out. So, I got this this piece here. I got the spring, the eyelet over here, and I got the uh, little adjuster turnbuckle, linkage, whatever you call it. Um, so, I'm gonna pull all these pins out and I'm pretty much gonna change it. Uh, the way that this works is it's like an over center design. So it, it pulls it back so it's just, just over center here. So when that pushes, it kind of just pushes against itself and it can't go any farther. And then there's an air can I don't know if you could see without the light, but there's an air can right there. That there's a switch in the cab. Hit the switch, and then the air can it uh, energizes a solenoid that puts air through the can, and then it just pushes this forward, and it pops that this way, and then it closes. Well, once it pulls it this way, it pulls down on that, and then the gate can open. And then when you let the take the switch off, it closes the cylinder, or opens the cylinder, whichever one it is, and it lets the air out. And a spring, which is the spring here, pulls this back and sets it back in its locking position. So it's getting hung up somewhere in the middle and not, not working right. So it's not locking. So when you put weight on the gate, it blows the gate open. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I got both sides to change. Uh, I don't know how long that's gonna take, but it appears like it's going to require a little bit of heat in some of these areas. So I'm going to uh, get started on this. So all these cotter pins are basically seized in there and they just rusted away so I'm just kind of knocking them off uh, this pin over here on the back side is loose so I'm just gonna drive it out pretty much just shear the cotter pin off I'll drill it out after if I need this pin I got most of the pins but I think I forgot two of them Doesn't help, there's very little space in here. A lot of stuff in here. Bring it out. 
so yeah this is gonna be some work So I'm gonna heat up them clevis there, and I just got the these two bars wedged in there so I can kind of drive it out sideways. Be careful not to break this end off.
get some stuff worked in there. Have to pop a little bit. gonna be difficult. Thank <laughs> you. 
Should have clamped this to the body so it doesn't rotate. So I'm prying on it as I twist it and it lets it kind of work its way out. that one nice and rusty so you gotta get that other piece out it's up inside and we should be good so you gotta get this last pin out right here um, this one has a a uh, hairpin clip in there so it's kind of stuck I don't want to break it off so I'm gonna heat it up on the back side and try to pry that out first and then I will try to uh, get the rest of that out <clears throat> <clears throat> messing with this when we come back that will be removed all right so I got the cut pin out I had to heat it up and then just kind of keep twisting this pin until I finally got the pin loose and I was able to pull that out and it just fell out so I mean it took a lot of back and forth wiggling to free up with the rust and stuff uh, Caught a pin was stainless. I accidentally heated it up and it fell off and left a little piece in there. So I had to take a punch and then the air, ch air hammer and uh, with a hammer head on it. So I just had this guy a punch and I came up through here and just kind of used it to hit the punch to knock the cotter pin out or the air pin clip. So I ended up getting it out. But it took a little while. A little while playing with it. So these new springs got a lot. So these new springs got a lot more uh, bend in them. They don't have the hook open. So I'm just gonna kind of hook it on here and then pry it open to get it hooked. So it's going between in there like this and like that. It's got it wedged on the. The edge here with the round pot and see if we can just open this up a little bit get it where it needs to be maybe
voila is that so let's see if I can put the eyelet on there too Oh shit. Yeah. Didn't even die. Alright, let's go throw this in. Alright. So I'll put some uh never sees on these pieces. Just for peace of mind, if they will really do anything. <clears throat> so, let's see. This side's gonna get a pin that's on the brake can. This side's gonna go here. Um, with the pin going that way. So. Take one of these pins, move this on there. Hopefully it makes a difference. I don't know if it will. It probably won't. But at least I know what tried. Come on. Hmm. Is that the right size pin? That's weird. It's like they punched this hole, but there's like a, a ridge in the middle. And this pin won't go in. Goes in here. Okay, well that's interesting. I guess I'll drill this out a little bit, because, yeah. Just an extra step, I guess. So this hole isn't, unless there's just crap in it. Maybe there's just crap in it. Yeah, that's what it was. A little bit of a, Weld spatter is in there. Slide that through. I figured I'd use these two, at least I get one side done. I was never good at erector sets. No? No. Wow. Well, you're in luck, because it's not an erector set. It's pretty much like it. <laughs> gets greased. So, huh? so this this tube gets greased. 
This shouldn't be a problem. You can get to it, yeah? Uh, yeah. Mr. Cutter. C's on a spoon. Just a little bit, just a little, a little bit of play out here. So I'll undo this nut and uh, so I take one more turn out of it, I guess. I might have had it a little tight. Because I don't want to go too tight with this. I don't want to have it be too tight. Alright, I'll stick this bottom pin in. And we'll, uh, stick the card pin on with it. Out of the washer. There we With these two pins in, bottom pin in. I'm just kind of adjusting this top one. Got a lot of play in this. There's another pin here, but the bolt's really kind of gone. 
And I guess you could probably get that out, but there's a little slop in there too. Which I'm not really a fan of, but I mean that can be I didn't want to have to buy everything. This all this stuff was actually kind of pricey just for what I got. It's pretty specific to the truck. That's what happens when you have a monopoly on something. You charge what you want. too tight with it because I don't want it to get into a situation where it won't actually lock. this bottom fitting and then underneath I'll just have to hang up that eye bolt tighten it up and we should be good so that line it's pretty straight in line it's kind of what you want so as that as the gate tries to push on it, it it kicks it in like a straight line if it was in a little bit and not all the way back it would just pop it open like a knee Might have been better if I just greased this whole bolt pin before I put it in there. Rather than putting it in there and getting one side greased. Now I can just turn it. all around. Yeah. yeah, it should be good for now. So, yeah, just put this eye bolt on and I'm done with this side. That opened up right. Oh, I don't like how it hits that spring like that. I wonder if maybe I should have put it the other way so the hook went out and the wire wrapped the top. I don't know if it'll make a difference. No, door opens. This side over here reacted a lot faster than the other side. I came back here and this, this latch was closed. The other side was still open. So, yeah. I guess we got some binding problems on this other side over here too. Oh. It is what it is. I got the parts to change the other side also. But I ain't gonna make you watch me. Anyway, that's how it functions out here. Yeah, yeah. Got the same thing over here. This side actually I think was holding and that side wasn't. Uh, so yeah, 
So I'll take this part apart over here, do the same thing over here. And then uh, that'll be it for this tailgate. And we'll move on to something else.